Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in this tutorial I will show you how you can make a simple high score. So what you see here is I have these coins, my high score right now is 6 and when I walk into these coins my score will increase when I get 7 and when I die my high score um, updates to 7 and when I close the game and I start it again the high score will be updated to 7 and my score will be 0. Yeah, let's get to it. So let's get to it. Let's first make um, the canvas. So let's make a UI text mess canvas here. And this can be our score. So let's call it score. And let's say score. Let's set it to 20. And let's move it. Uh, Take this one and move it up here. Let's make it a little bigger so it's easier to see. Let's scale it up a bit. This is the text that uh, I will use for the score. Um, this will be the high score. Let's call this high score. And let's just reference, set it to 30 bigger and this one i will put up in the right corner like this let's rename it here high score so you probably already have the high score in uh in another place so you can put it uh, when you are opening a panel or pressing a button or where you want to show it i just have everything here on the same screen uh, to demonstrate when you have have these two then let's create a, a, a placeholder for the script. Uh, in my case, I'll just call this uh, high score. You can place it on your controller or where you are storing your scripts. And let's create a new script called, uh, let's say, high score. And let's open it up in Visual Studio. And Let's first implement, I will, uh, for the text, I will use uh, TextMiss Pro. So up here in the top, you will have to implement using uh, TM Pro. And because of my script is separate from my player, then I will need a reference to, uh, to the player. And the player I will use to call the script when uh, my player is dead. Then I need reference to the text, so public text mess pro, and here we will have the score text. And oh, let me zoom in a bit. And then we need a public float for the score. We'll need the same for the high score, so public text is pro again, and this will be the high score text. Let's move this. And we will need a public float for the high score. Like this. Uh, yeah, of course, we will need to call it something else because the script is called high score. You can't name name it the same, so let's call it just with lowercase high oh, high score like this. Then in our start function, we need a reference to our player. So player is equal to find object type, and here we'll need the player script. So now we have a reference to the player. And this will find that script in the game uh, where it is attached. And this, one, this script is, of course, attached to my player. So now we got the reference to the player. Then in the update, let's say uh, high score text dot text is equal to our high score dot to string and remember in my case it was with lower dot to string so now the text has a reference 
to the to the uh, to the to the number. The same we will need for the score text. Dot text is equal to score dot to string. Um. Yes, and then we need a, a new uh, function. I will call it public void and I will call it die. You can call this another place um, if you want to. And I will save my score into a player pref. Uh, a player pref. So, and here, yeah, what a player pref is, is basically um, a text where you can store your value in a name and then you can with, uh, receive that name back again with the correct number so let me show you here like if the score uh, that we have in the game is greater than player prefs dot get float and i will call it high score then we will say player prefs dot set float we will set the high score with the score so just to explain what's happening here normally you can actually just use this one this will save your your float and what float do it need to save it need to save the score and you will save this number in this name but i'm just making this check because you it don't have to save it if it's not larger if the score is not larger than the number you have stored because if your high score already is four and you only get free score then it should not save because your high score is still four so it should only save when the score gets higher than the number you have stored in this text okay then in the update we can say if our player is equal to null so if the player is not in the game anymore that means he's dead then we can call the die function oh yeah we could probably call it save high score instead yeah let's rename it to save high score save high score like this remember always to right click and rename then you will rename all the reference to it if you only uh, rename it up here then you will not rename the references to it Yes, so that's what we need here. One more thing that we need to do when you start the game. Then you need to check. Uh, do we all already have a high score? So if the player uh, prefs dot has key. So here you can check if we have something uh, in the player prefs called. I will just copy it down here so it gets exactly the same high score so if the high score is saved inside player prefs then the high score is equal to the player prefs dot and here we'll get the float again and what float will we get the high score and of course it was with lower like this else Oops, one, one. Else the high score is equal to zero. So what we are doing here is when the game starts and you don't, uh, for, for the first time, then you need to set the high score to zero. But if you have played the game, you closed the game, and when you open again, you need to check, do I already have a high score? And that you can do here. Now you will check if you have the high score inside the player prefs. If you have, 
the high score is equal to that high score. And if it's first time you're playing, the high score will automatically get to zero because you don't have anything inside here. So let's save this and head back to Unity. So now on the high score uh, game object here, you can see we can add two texts. Let's add the score and we can add the high score. Now when we hit play, you can see we had zero score and we have zero in high score. Now let's take some coins here. Now we've got five, we've got six. Now let's enter the red one. This is where I die. Let's stop the game. And when we start the game, you can see what our high score is six. Now let's go into these. Let's uh, only take five. Uh, let me find my death coin here. Yeah, it's this one. Let's move it to the other side. So we only take five and we die. If we uh, close it and open again, you can see we have six and we have zero. And if we take the last coin I have, let's, where did I put that here on the other side. So now I should get seven coins and now we die. Close it, open again. Now our high score is seven. You can of course update this in game so you don't have to open and close every time to update the high score. And you can do that by, if you have a button where you will uh, show the high score or when the panel is opening when you die uh, and you'll show the high score in there you can just call the uh, uh, where did it go where did it go the the high score here so if you see uh, if i take this text here and put it down here and save it now we have it in the update and again, it's only called when the player is dying. So we could actually take it and put it instead. If you put it down here, I think. And we hit play. Let's see. Now I just need another coin because it's way too many now. Let's do this and let's enter it. Now I have eight and when I die, the high score updates to eight. So that's another way to do it. Just a little bonus info here. If you open the script, now your numbers are saved into these player press. So to delete it again, because every time you close your game and open it, the, these numbers are saved in the system. You'll have to, in the start function, you have to say, or you can bind it to a button. You need to say, delete all. But remember, delete all will delete all your player prefs. So if you have uh, one for high score, you have one for, uh, health or whatever you have then this will delete all of them if you only want to delete the high score you can use the delete key instead delete key and here you will have to say high score so if you save this and hit back and now when you hit play you can see the number is zero and Go into the script again and then you can just comment this out and when you start the game now the number will be zero and then you can start over again so if you want to make a new game then this could be the way to delete the high score yeah that was uh, what i had to show in this tutorial thanks a lot for watching i really hope that they uh, helped you out and um if you have any uh, question or need some help, then uh, let me know in the comment below or join my uh, Discord channel. I will leave a link in the description for it. Thank you and see you next time.